Hey guys, this is part two of my tattoo tour. Last time we did my legs, ribs, and this arm. Now we're gonna do this arm. So let's get started. Okay, so the first one that I have on here is this snake and I don't really love it. Um, I don't know why. I ju it's just probably like a tattoo that I don't love that much. I don't know why, there's just something about it that I just, like the tattoo itself is like nice, but it's just, I feel like as I've changed and stuff as a person. Yeah, I don't know, I don't love it. Um, in my last relationship, I feel like that's another series I need to do is like about my last relationship, but I wouldn't waste my time on it. But anyway, um, I did kiss another male while I was in my last relationship. Um, after, it's no excuse, but after years of being a cheated, cheated on and abused, Believe it or not, I found um, a bit of comfort in another man and kissed him and went home straight away and called my partner and was like, hey, I kissed another man. And then that led to a whole another six months of craziness. Um, and I got this tattoo in that time and he always used to say like, oh, like, no wonder you got a snake because you're a snake. And I don't know if maybe it's got negative vibes associated to it. Like he used to just be like, oh, like it's so like funny that you have a snake tattooed on you because you're a snake. I'm not excusing the fact that I cheated. It's something that I keep to myself about for many, 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 many years before um, I realised that, you know, maybe it wasn't like, I don't know. That's a whole other story, but I'm just being transparent. I've always been transparent about the fact that I made a mistake and this is a very weird side tangent. Um, but I did, I kissed another man while I had a boyfriend but like I said, it was a relationship that was less than ideal with a lot of um, terrible things that went on it. And I had also been cheated on a lot of times. And I think I got to the point where um, I met another male by chance. And I think he could also tell that I was in a vulnerable situation. Um, and he also... Yeah. Anyway. That's a whole different side note, but I feel like that might be why there's a little bit of negativity around this tattoo because he used to say like, oh, of course you have a snake tattoo because you are one. Um, and I don't think that's true. <laughs> I don't think I am. I think I'm quite a loyal, honest, genuine person that just made a mistake. Anyway, side note. So yeah, don't love that one, but Kira did that one. The next one is um, my little sister's tattoo um that I got with my sister it's like a play on like friends um I lived with my sister and my nephew for a little bit when um a couple of years ago and it was such a nice time when the three of us lived together like we had this cute tiny little family unit going on and we used to watch friends a lot and it was honestly such an amazing time for me and my sister and my nephew as well I feel like we had so much bonding the reason that I moved in was because something had happened in our pers in her personal life, I get. Well, obviously it affected us as well, but like it was something that had happened in her personal life and we really like turned the negative into like a super positive and it was such a nice, happy time. And we talk about it all the time that like it was such a nice time living together, the three of us. It was really sweet and I'm very grateful for that opportunity that I had to live with her and also live with my nephew. He was so young at the time, so I feel like it was like such a bonding experience and something that I'm forever grateful that happened. And yeah, we used to watch Friends religiously, <laughs> um, so it was only right that we got a sister's tattoo. <laughs> um, the next one here says, do it for them. This is a play on that scene from The Simpsons where he's, Homer is like sitting at the power plant or whatever and like they put up that sign in the office and it says like, don't forget you're here forever. And then he puts photos of like Maggie up and like it changes it to do it for her. And I just thought that was the sweetest thing I've ever seen. And um, my family are uh, my absolute everything. So I've got do it for them, for my family, a big reminder of why, you know, I make these videos and things like that because one day I hope to support my family. Like that's my dream goal to be like to my mum and dad, look, you guys don't have to worry anymore. Like, that is the ultimate goal, to be able to support my family and give back for everything that they've done for me. And yeah, it is. When things are bad and, you know, things are tough, I think, you know, we push through it and we do it for them. And yeah, I love them very much. Um, that was done by Jason Scar. 
This next one is just like a little filler tattoo. I just got it on a whim and I actually really love it. I think it's beautiful. Kira did that and it's so nice because um, this snake tattoo you look at and like this was when she was like um, like first starting her apprenticeship and then on and then this one was like more recently done and you can see so much growth in her work she's come such a long way and I'm very proud of her the next one is like a swallow and that was done by Max oh, I got it the same day that I got this rose tattoo which I talked about last time I really like it, it did such a good job for an apprentice um, that sounded really rude I didn't mean it like that like I mean like you know he was an apprentice and like did a really good job like you know what I mean Anyway, so I got that one. This here is from Bioshock. Um, it's another game. I've wanted a Bioshock tattoo forever as well. Um, and it's like one of the little plasmids. If you if you know, you know. Um, this face is bare and I hate it. I really need the things that annoy me are this space here and this space here. Probably can't see it. When I turn my arm, it doesn't. Like, so need to get them filled i would love for my tattoos to come down on my hands but my mother will not allow it <laughs> so one day when she says i can i may just do that no i like also with work and things like that but, oh god i'd love a hand tattoo i really would anyway so yeah that's everything on the forearm then i have my little ghost um this was oh and that one was done by Jarrett as well sorry this little ghost was also done by Jarrett and I also talked about my little camo ghost in the last video so if you want to know go check that out but I just thought he was so cute I just love him and I love Halloween Halloween's like a real a real nice time for me so just thought he was a cutie pie um coming over here I have my crybaby tattoo this is from Will Peep this was also done by Jarrett um, and this is what I was kind of talking about in my last video, how I was saying that I'll probably go to Bones now. Um, you can see that it's not where it says, like, crybaby. It's not as fine line as um, when you look at, like, Bones' work. Um, and that's obviously just because it's different styles. So, but yeah, I still love this tattoo. Um, crybaby is probably my favourite Little Peep song. There's a couple that are up there, but I love crybaby so much. It's one of my favourite songs ever. So, yeah. I just thought that was cute. Next I have my little teddy bear. Um, I have a teddy bear called Harry and he is my little angel <laughs> and I have had him forever. Um, like 20 years or something like that. And I used to bring him to like kindergarten and stuff with me and then I was like, you know what? Like I used to bring him on holiday and stuff and then I was like, I can't risk taking Harry anywhere anymore because what if something happens to him? So he's stayed at home ever since I had that realization. But I miss him, so I was like, you know what, I'm just going to get him on my body so he's with me always. <laughs> so that's why I've got my little angel boy, Harry, with me. Um, I have my mum's birth year, which is 1976. And then I've got this girl here. Um, a couple of years ago, when I was looking at getting merch designed, I was, like, talking to artists, and, I, um, and that was one of the designs that I got. And I was like, to her, I was like, I actually love that so much. I really want to get it tattooed. Like, would you care if I got it tattooed? And she's like, no, not at all. Like, you know, go and get it tattooed. So I did, and yeah. Um, I just thought it was such a nice design. And I was like, you know what? I don't want that just on a t-shirt. I want that on my body. <laughs> so I got it tattooed. The one on the back of my arm. Oh, I've been tossing up. I'm not going to tell you the story. Because I think some things... Um, I don't know how to explain it. I think that sometimes things are more special, like, if they're kept to yourself. But basically, this is a um, tattoo that I got for a friend that passed away. I'm not going to tell you why I got it or anything like that. Like, the reason that I got it. But just the fact that it's for, it's like a memorial tattoo for a friend that passed away. Um, and it's got, like, a little story behind it and stuff. And I know, and I hate when people say that and they're like, mm, but I'm not going to tell you. But it's not like that. It's just the thing of like, I feel like I know why I got it and I like to keep it close to me because I feel like it's like a little, like, I don't know how to explain it. Hopefully you guys know what I'm saying. But like, it's just a little special thing to me and I want to keep it like to me and special. But um, I was at work a couple of, mm, I don't know, maybe like a month or so now and her mum actually came in. And I went over to her mum and introduced myself. And I was like, hey, like, I'm just letting you know that, like, I was friends with your daughter. 
Um, and her mum is the sweetest angel and also just, like, the strongest woman ever. Like, how... Anyway, I'm not even going to get into all of that. But um, we had a really good talk. I was there talking to her for maybe about half an hour. And I was able to tell her the story, which I think was really nice. Because, um, you know, it's nice to, to share that with someone else that obviously knew her and, like, loved her. Um, and it was just a really nice moment. And it was so nice to be able to talk to her. And also just say that, you know, I commended her on her strength and everything like that. And also, you know, pass on my condolences and everything like that. It's been many years now. But, yeah, um, so that one's just a, a special one to me, a little memorial tattoo. And, yeah, I hope you guys don't think that I'm being, like, annoying. But that's, I don't know, I just like it like that. You know what I mean? And I think that's everything that I have in the arm. I also don't like this blank space up here. So, yeah, I think that's everything. On that arm. Um, and then my last one is my little lightning bolt. Is it back here? That is for my best friend. Her name is Abby Bolt. So I got a lightning bolt because, like, Abby Bolt, you know. But yeah, that uh, is all of my tattoos. I think. I think. But yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.